Hey guys, welcome to day 12 of the Whole Life Challenge. Uh, by this time, you should be hitting your stride. You probably have already developed some sort of mobility routine for yourself, or you've decided some body part that you're gonna stretch on a regular basis. I'm gonna share with you today a routine that I developed that's really simple, it's less than 10 minutes, um, and it hits the, the, the parts of your body that are notorious for causing the most amount of grief and pain, especially from sitting in a desk, from sitting in a, sitting in a car, from doing the kinds of things that as modern day human beings we tend to do. The first one is we're gonna stretch and mobilize the muscle group called the psoas. And the psoas is a muscle that, that connects from your femur up to your lower back. And if you have low back pain, it is one of the muscles that is highly likely that's contributing to your low back pain. Um, I started doing this stretch on a regular basis and I would, believe it or not, I would get lower back pain. I would get lower back pain when I run and after I run and slowly over the course of about three months of doing this every day, my back pain disappeared. So uh, I can't guarantee that for you, but it's a, certainly a possibility. All right, so it's a very basic stretch. You're gonna start in a kneeling position and you're gonna come into a lunge. That's the start, okay? Now, if you can see my hips, I'm gonna tuck my hips under best I can. If you, if you don't feel that, no big deal. And then I'm just going to drive my hips forward and my knee forward that way, right out there. And I'm going for feeling this in the front part of my thigh. I'm gonna hold this when I do this on my own for two minutes on each side. Two minutes gives your body a chance to kind of settle into that position and really lets you deepen that stretch. Now I'm gonna show you two ways to make this stretch a little more challenging, okay? The first way is if you're feeling fairly flexible, you can reach back and grab your back foot. You gotta keep your balance. And you can do a pull with the back foot. Sometimes it's good to have a post or something to hold on to so you don't lose your balance and you're not challenged with that. But one I actually like better is to put my, this is my couch. I'm gonna put this up against my couch. Now, for some of you, it's gonna be hard to even get out of this position. Okay, I'm gonna use my, a you can use anything you want. You can put a chair here, anything you want to push yourself up on, but just keeping that knee down on the ground, pushing yourself up off the floor. That's, that's level one. Level two would be putting this foot up and pushing yourself back. And level three, Sure, why not? Level three would be straightening that front leg. So you're stretching both the hamstring of this leg, but really what we're shooting for is the psoas here. And again, whatever position you choose, you wanna consider your primary goal is to stretch the front part of that back leg. So it's not better to do a, a harder one, it's best to do the one that you feel where you feel that stretch the most keeping in mind not to overextend the lower back. Okay, that's number one, the lunge stretch. Number two, we're gonna do a stretch for the glutes, the knees, and maybe for some of you, the ankles. And it's just a simple cross-legged stretch. So I'm just gonna move into this position. I'm gonna cross one leg under the other, right? And then my goal is to bend forward. Yep, and I'm just gonna keep bending forward. There's really nothing more to it than this. I'm gonna, actually the other part of your body that you're stretching when you do this is your lower back. So I'm gonna feel this through my lower back and my glutes. Now, if you struggle with mobility and you can't get down to the floor, feel free to do this in front of something, like I'm gonna demonstrate with my couch. I can grab onto it and give myself a little bit of assistance. You can use a rubber band, you can use a chair, 
You can use whatever you want. Now, here's what I do. Two minutes on that side, and then I switch sides. And I do two minutes here. Now, for some of you, that may not matter. You may, hit, you may feel it in the same way on both sides. I find a difference in my knees, my ankles, and somewhat in my lower back when I do both sides. So, so far we've covered the front of the hip and the hip flexors, two minutes on each side, two, two minutes, four minutes. Now we've covered the glutes, lower back, knees, and ankles, and that's two minutes on each side. So now we're at eight minutes. And last but not least, we're gonna address the upper spine, the thoracic spine up here. And I'm gonna show you one way using a foam roller that's one of these guys, which some of you may have seen before. And then I'm gonna show you an alternative if you don't have a foam roller. So here we go. And I'm just gonna put that foam roller, as you can see, it's not in my lower back, it's not down here, it's in about my middle back. And I'm just gonna gently roll back. And if I wanna intensify, I'm gonna take my arms up over my head And I'm just gonna hang out here for two minutes. This is a two minute stretch also. Now, if two minutes gets too much, curl yourself up. You can move the foam roller a little bit backwards. You can see my body's moving, but the foam roller is moving on my body. And I can come back down again. Don't get caught up in worrying about exactly the right position. It shouldn't hurt like negatively. If it hurts negatively, yeah. Then don't go, then don't go quite that deep. That's my, that noise yeah. is my pug. Uh, um, yeah, thanks Odie. We appreciate your contribution to the video. Um, another thing you can do is lift your hips if you need to, to make it more gentle. Now, if you don't have a foam roller, something you can do is back on your knees, thighs perpendicular to the ground. See how they're straight up and down, not back here. I'm going to reach my arms way out in front of me, keeping my elbows straight, and lower my chin down toward the floor. And again, I'm holding this for two minutes. I'm really relaxing into this stretch. Okay, so we had hip flexors. First, that's the lunge stretch. We had glutes, lower back, knees, and ankles in the cross-legged stretch, two on each side, two minutes on each side, that's eight minutes. And then we have either the foam roller or we have the kneeling two-arm forward stretch, two minutes there. Now we're up to 10 minutes. Now, if you wanna add a bonus, because the other part of, of typical human bodies that are very tight are hamstrings. And I just like to do a really simple one and we're just, I'm just gonna bend forward. Um, if this is hard for you, and you can't come down and reach your toes, because a lot of people can't, I recommend taking a rubber band, looping it around the bottoms of your feet, or a string, or a rope, or a belt, and pulling yourself down. And just be gentle. We're not trying to be superhuman when we're holding these. We're just trying to let the body let go. Breathing into each stretch as you hang out in that position for about two minutes. So you, you've got a mobility routine that's somewhere right now, if you do the full two minutes of each thing, 10 to 12 minutes. I hope you'll try. I hope you try this. And I hope you'll leave some comments. Let me know how it goes. Let me know what you think. Let me know how it's working for you. I've done this exact routine. I did this specifically for about three months. And I noticed very significant changes occur to my body. Like I said, my lower back pain disappeared. Um, some of my knee pain disappeared. And my thoracic spine got way more, I, I would hear clicks and pops in my thoracic spine when prior to that, I wasn't feeling my vertebrae moving as much. And moving is a good thing. You want each one of those joints in your vertebrae is a, is a movable joint and you want them limber and supple. So that's it guys. Uh, like I said, Give me your questions, give me your feedback, let me know how it's going, and um, have a great day in the challenge. See ya.